Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about the Instant Pot Luxe. We have the A quart version and it's really good. Uh, we have made some stuff in it and some fails, some good things, so I want to share with you uh, the some of the stuff that we've done in it that's actually worked out. So the first thing was chicken alfredo. Uh, and I'll put the recipes that or and instructions in the description below. Uh, for the chicken alfredo we used jarred alfredo sauce and a box of uh, linguine that we broke in half. Um, we also used chicken that was already cooked from a rotisserie chicken. So we put everything in the pot, uh, made sure the noodles were covered a bit, and we put it on manual high pressure for about four minutes and did a quick release. Uh, the first time we did it, um, oh, there's also water in there as well because for the steam. First time we did it, it was almost a little bit um, too al dente for our taste. So if you like the noodles softer, then put it in for an extra minute or so. The next thing we tried was rice. We did basmati rice. Um, I did three cups of basmati rice to three cups of water. And I used the rice setting button and I did the natural pressure release for a couple of minutes. So the quick release is when you just flick the switch and the steam roll comes out. Natural pressure release is when you just let it sit for a bit and let the pressure naturally release a little bit before you hit the quick release thing. So it basically cooks it a little bit longer. We found that the rice was done but it was just barely done. So I think next time I'm going to make it, I'm going to let it sit a bit longer. I made sushi rice. I just followed the package dis um, directions for the water ratio. And I did it for the rice, rice button plus natural pressure release for five minutes. And I think it turned out really good. Boyfriend said it was a little bit soft, but I think that was in contrast to the basmati, which was a little bit, not hard, but just barely done. Um, then we made stew in it, and that really, really worked out good. Um, we just, we used, um, the stew button. It took about, I don't know, 15 minutes for the pressure to build up, and then 35 minutes for the stew to do its thing. And it was a little bit watery afterwards, so we just gradually added flour and whisked it in until it thickened up, and it was delicious. Um, it's literally, we uh, used the saute function to brown the meat and then just threw everything in and pressed the button and it was great. Um, the other thing that we made was a whole chicken. And this one I really liked. Um, it doesn't make it like crispy like a rotisserie chicken, but it, it's very, very tender and moist. So it was really good. We just put the chicken in with like, uh, it comes with this little cup thing. Two, two cups of water and um, we actually tried to brown the, the breast part first but it didn't really seem to make a difference so I would skip that step and yeah we just uh, shoved in some onions and limes and cilantro into the cavity and sprinkled it with salt, pepper, chili powder and um, put on some cilantro, garlic powder and lime slices and it was really good. Uh, we did, um, I think we cooked it for 25 minutes but it depends on the size of your chicken. So I just guessed and it was definitely done. Um, some of the meat had fallen off the leg bone a bit but it was still really good. So that's what, oh and the other thing we made in the Instant Pot was refried black beans. So we had dried beans and in the little manual here, it tells you how to make the beans um, if you forgot to soak them. So it's on page 12, the not refried beans recipe. And it's this little section down here. Uh, so basically what you do is you put beans and water in the, in the pot with some salt, pressure cook it for four minutes, and let it sit for 10 minutes after it's ready, so don't open it or anything. Then you strain it, 
and dump the beans back in put in some more water and spices and away you go. I just put it in the blender after to make it that um, refried bean texture and it was really great in a burrito with the chicken that we made. So that's what I've made in the Instant Pot. Um, I've also did mac and cheese but that was our very first thing and it was didn't really turn out so we're still experimenting with that. So let me know in the comments below if you have an Instant Pot and what your favorite recipes are. And yeah, we'll go from there. I will make another video about this if people are interested. Um, if not, hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.